According to Yahoo Finance, just under 50% of the population consider starting a business at least once in their lifetime. And on average, 4.7 million new businesses are created every single year. But how many of those businesses actually survive and become profitable after 12 months? It's less than 10%. And how many of those go on to survive two years? An even smaller percentage. And how many go on to survive at least a decade? The number's so small, you wouldn't even believe it. But why? How come there's so many new businesses surfacing every single year, yet few of them actually succeed? Is it because all the best ideas have already been taken? Markets are too saturated. Starting a business is too difficult. People just don't have the work ethic. The truth is there is only one reason why businesses fail. And that reason is businesses can't profitably acquire new customers. In other words, Business owners don't know how to sell. You see, the reason Mark Cuban, Tony Robbins, Alex Omozi, and all these other millionaires you see online that can virtually turn any business into a profit machine with the snap of their fingers is not because they found an untapped niche, created some revolutionary new product, had the fanciest looking website, or got lucky. The reason those guys can turn any business into a cash cow on demand is because they mastered the skill of sales. Because the truth is, until you can predictably and consistently generate cash flow through one-to-one -one sales, every business endeavor you ever start will fail. And this is a lesson I learned the hard way when I first got into business. I thought succeeding in business was all about having an out-of-the-box idea, finding the trendiest product, or choosing the right business model. And as a result, I took the path of most resistance. Instead of focusing on learning the fundamental business skill of sales, before starting my own business, I decided to cut corners and jump straight into the game. And that was a costly mistake. The first business I ever started was Amazon FBA. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on it and thought, this is easy enough. So I went away, did some product research. So I took the decent chunk of money I'd saved up from waiting on tables and working in bars. And I went away and bought some inventory. 5,000 units of acrylic paint pens. I know, what was I thinking? I shipped the product to an Amazon warehouse, listed the product, and I kicked my feet back and I waited for the profit to roll in. Only it didn't roll in. One week went by, two weeks went by, a month, and still little to no sales. I was mortified. I just invested close to $10,000, which was a huge amount of money for me at the time. And losing it all put me in a pretty bad spot. But of course, being the hard-headed kid I was, I decided to double down and try all the marketing methods all the Amazon gurus were showing me on YouTube. I was effectively pressing random buttons in a hope that this rocket ship of a business would take off. The result was I lost that $10,000 in the short span of just a few months. The loss was of course devastating, but luckily I hadn't quit my job yet and I had a tiny bit of cash flow to keep me afloat. And although I'd lost a bunch of money and my ego was severely bruised, I was still determined to escape the reality of living an average life. So I spent the next few months contemplating my next move, searching for a better opportunity and asking myself what I really wanted to do with my life. Push came to shove. I ended up making the exact same mistake I'd made in the first business all over again. You see, rather than taking a step back and analyzing my loss from a logical perspective and realizing the root of my failure was my lack of skill and experience in business, I did what most people do and blame the business model. I decided Amazon was too risky for someone like me that didn't have a lot of cash to hand. And I fooled myself into thinking that was the sole reason I failed. So I did some more research and came across a business model that didn't require a lot of startup capital by jumping right back into the game and trying to start a social media marketing agency. But as you can probably imagine, that didn't go too well either. I spent several painful months spinning my wheels, not making any money and doubting if this business model was even gonna work too. It didn't matter how many YouTube videos I watched, how many books I read or how many courses I took. The results I was seeking were seemingly so far out of reach. And the funny thing is, they actually were. Because the reality was, I didn't have the slightest clue on how to do the fundamental things that would actually make me money. I didn't know how to sell. And to make matters worse, I had zero confidence in my ability to actually provide the service I was supposedly offering my clients. So not only was I not making any money, but the few clients I did have realized I didn't have the slightest clue to deliver the service I promised. And one by one, they left. I was expanding all this energy and taking all this action, but I was going absolutely nowhere. I was simply out of my debt. No amount of reading, practicing, or faking it could make up for my lack of tangible skills 
or business experience. So after spending close to two years struggling to grow my agency and never actually realizing any profit, I realized I needed to take it back to square one and focus on the fundamentals. I figured if I could learn how to sell, I could start closing some clients and I could use that cash flow to solve some of the other problems I was experiencing in business. And it turns out, I was right. As soon as I reframed my thinking and started prioritizing the skill set of sales, everything started to click. I started closing more deals, collecting more cash, and retaining clients for more than a month. I was able to hire a team that could help me with the service delivery. I ended up scaling my agency from zero to over 100K a month in under two years. Now I'll save you the rest of the boring details because that's not the reason I'm making this video. I'm not here to brag about my journey from zero to hero or to tell you how smart I am. I'm here to do the opposite. I'm here to help you learn from the hundreds of mistakes I made in my journey and here to show you the fast track without wasting tens of thousands of dollars or years of your life trying to start your own business. You see, if I had to start all over again from scratch, I wouldn't desperately try to hack together an agency or an e-commerce business with no experience. I'd simply land a remote sales job in an already successful seven or eight figure online business where I could get paid to learn sales and fundamental business skills. It's the equivalent of hopping into a Ferrari instead of walking to the same destination. Because not only would I learn all the necessary skills to start my own business from people who had already actually scaled a successful business, but by stacking cash and making six figures in the process. Meaning if I wanted to go out and start something of my own in the near future, out of both the capital and the experience I would need to rapidly scale that business. Because when you know how to sell, business becomes way easier. Now I could give you 101 other examples of how sales is all that matters in business, but you get the point. If you wanna get rich and you think the only way to do so is by starting your own business, just like I did when I first started. I'm here to tell you that that is simply not true. If you start your own business without taking the time to master sales, more times than not, you're setting yourself up to become just another statistic. But if you're patient, and you take the time to learn the skill, you pretty much can't lose. So if you're interested in learning those sales skills, landing a remote sales job, and making six figures from wherever you want, I've helped over 100 guys do exactly that inside my coaching program, Club Closer. So if you want more information, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video. Or if you're just looking to learn a bit more about sales, feel free to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other content. I post sales content weekly here. See you on the next one.